Morning readings from the Mathematics Academy. Here, the question is if the root of this equation are real and unequal, then we need to prove that this equation has no real root. As we know that if the roots are real and unequal, it means the value of d is greater than 0, d is positive. And we have to prove that the equation has no real root, it means the value of t is negative it means t is less than 0 now first of all from this equation that is x square plus 2cx plus ab equals to 0 first of all we need to find the value of t here and as we know that the formula to find the d is b square minus 4 times a into c that c dash on putting the value here b is the coefficient of x that is 2 into c and the a is the coefficient of x square that is 1 here and c dash is our constant term that is a b on simplification that is 4 into c square minus 4 into a b and we know that d is our greater than greater than 0 therefore this result is greater than 0 on taking the 4 as common here we left with the c square minus a b that is greater than 0 on shifting the 4 from left to the right the we left with the equation that is c square minus a b greater than 0 now we need to use this equation again so we'll let it to be the equation number one now in the second part second equation we see that an equation that is x square minus twice of a plus b into x plus constant term is a square plus b square plus 2c square equals to 0. Now here again we need to prove that d is less than 0 of this equation. Therefore first of all we need to find the d here and we let it to be as d dash because that is a different discriminant of the different equation so I'm not writing the formula here just I'm putting the value directly that is the b is the coefficient of x that is minus 2 a plus b whole square with minus 4 times the coefficient of x that is 1 and the constant term that is a square plus b square plus 2c square now here first of all we open the bracket here and the minus 2 square is plus and that is a plus b whole square which is a square plus b square plus 2ab now we left with the minus 4 times a square plus b square plus 2c square again first of all multiplying this we get 4a square plus 4b square plus 8ab and on multiplying this minus here we get minus 4 times a square minus 4 times b square and minus 8 times c square here 4a square cancel with 4a square 4b square cancel with 4b square here the term that is left which is 8 times ab with minus 8c square that is the value of d dash now as here we take the 8 as common and we left with ab minus c square that is the value of d dash so from the equation 1 if we shift all these two terms from left to the right we get that is minus ab if we shift from left to the right that is c square which is greater than ab and on shifting the c square here the left hand side is 0 and in the right hand side that is ab minus c square or it may be right as ab minus c square which is less than 0 now here we need that ab minus c square with the multiplication of 8 on multiply the 8 here we see that this is ab 
minus c square here we, if we multiply we get 0 into it that is 0 and here in this equation that is d dash and we get that is d dash is less than 0 and we know that if the value is less than 0 that means it is negative and if the value is negative the roots are imaginary so here in this question we have to prove that if the roots are real and unequal of this equation therefore this equation has no real roots and this is our condition thank you friends